Okay, so I'm going to really quickly go through how I capture the rendering of my layouts that I've been posting online. Let's just go through how we would capture this and save this as a picture. So the first thing is we want to clear up our screen a little bit so that we get a good screen capture. So the first thing is let's go ahead and turn our grid off. Let's go ahead and do the select, select, and the none box and that will unhighlight everything so we don't have any of our jumps showing or any of our stops and starts or anything like that. The next let's click on sim and let's just click hold and drag our crosshairs out of the way so that we have a nice clean picture. The next thing you could do is zoom a little bit in or out if you wanted to. I like to get it as big on the screen as I can. The next thing is I want to open up my snipping tool. Now to get my Windows options up on my keyboard, I just click the Windows button on my keyboard and I will have access to my taskbar. I'm going to start my snipping tool, which I have saved to my taskbar, and that will open up the snipping tool. I click on New, and then I can go anywhere on my screen that I want to capture. So this is the picture I want to capture. I'm going to put my crosshair up here in the top left. I'm going to click, hold, and drag over the top of this picture. So whatever on the screen you want to capture, that's what you want to highlight. Undepress the mouse button, and it will open this picture inside of the snipping program. All right, that looks good to me, so I'm going to click on Save and pick a spot where you want to save it. This just happens to be a picture in uh, or a folder in my pictures directory that I created yesterday. I'll just go ahead and leave it on that and I'll just call it layout picture. You call it whatever you want to call it and notice that it's going to save it as a JPEG file. Alright, I'm going to save. Now I'm going to open up my Picasa tool here. Again, Picasa is a free download from Google and it's a very simple program to learn for doing photo editing. This is not going to be a tutorial about using Picasa, but just know that I've opened Picasa, I've opened up the picture that I saved, and down here you can see that this is what I called it. This was the folder that it was in and I called it Layout Picture and it's a JPEG. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit um, grayed out and when I post pictures of my layouts online I like them to be a little bit darker, a little bit more defined. So a very easy way to do that for layout pictures is to come over here under the main Picasa menu and choose the I'm feeling lucky button. I depress that once and it just darkens down that picture ever so slightly so that it just makes it a little bit easier to see. So, I'm Okay, so I went back to my picture library and it took me back onto my Picasa main screen and I just clicked on the save icon within Picasa so that I could save this picture that I just darkened. Okay, so now where I am is I'm actually inside of Microsoft Word. I opened up a Word document. Maybe this would be how you're creating an invoice or a quote for your customer. And you want to insert that picture that you just saved and darkened. So I opened up a file. I did picture, insert picture. Here is the picture that we were just working on. So I'll click that and hit insert. And there we have it our picture inserted into our document. Now you can use that picture just like you would use any other picture. You can post it online, you can send it by email, you can do a whole host of other things with the picture. So I hope this has been helpful for you on how to capture your layout and rendering within simulation and just use a couple of other programs to help you get that done. Thanks everybody, happy quilting. All right, this is option number two. So I'm hitting Control, Alt, and Print Screen on my keyboard. Now I'm going to pause and I'm going to open up the Microsoft Paint program. You'll notice over here in the left-hand corner, there's just a box or a tab that says Paste. So if we click on Paste, there is the screen capture that was created when I depressed Control, Alt, and print screen. So now that I'm within Microsoft Paint, I can select an area of this screen, much like we did with the snipping tool. I'm just going to select this picture right here. 
just of my layout and I'm going to click on crop. Now I can go through much the same steps that I did over with the snipping tool. I'm just going to do a file save and I'm going to save this onto my computer wherever I choose to save my pictures in my directories. Okay, and then you can follow the rest of the video from before on how to do some adjusting with Picasa or there's a whole host of other photo editing programs out there that most of you probably are familiar with. Alright everyone, I hope this was helpful. Happy quilting. Bye-bye.